Welcome. Thanks for stopping on by my YouTube channel here. First of all, thanks uh, again for taking your precious time and uniqueness within your own artistry, as this is Wizard Sticks, Master Wizard Sticks, Rumber. Anyways, today's topic is something of dealing with popularity, the pros and cons of being popular and not being popular. You know, within the, the, the great artistic community here at YouTube and the world itself, you know, internationally speaking, um, you know, so many people uh, are misconceived into, they might think someone, because they are popular, that distinguishes how good technically and how their mastery is within the artisticness of their own creation you know because uh, the general public has a different awareness level per se than uh, a real fine-tuned artist you know musician that actually besides being an amateur is an actual professional you know and not that, that, that doesn't mean that just because you're an amateur, you don't know what the frick is up, because uh, amateurs, uh, therefore, are very aware, you know, most of them that are way beyond within their artistry as, you know, their techniques, you know, an overall awareness of dynamics, you know, the resonance, the frequency, and of course, the vibrations of every part of them in conjunction with blending with the instrument of their choice which in this case we're speaking about drums but this is applies to every instrument whether you play woodwinds brass strings percussion and you know the keyboards like the piano is actually a percussive instrument but back to what I was saying you know I get really agitated. It really uh, bothers me when some moron doesn't even know what the hell they're talking about when they're saying, well, that Johnny guy, John and, and the Jets and all these drummers that they've had in the past are just phenomenal players. And I go, wow, just because the band made an incredible amount of money. I, I, I'm just using these names. Uh, I'm making them up. It's, I'm not trying to be facetious here or anything, but you know the, the truth is, just because someone is popular, that doesn't make them some super amazing artist. You know, and I know some of you might be listening to this and go, "Wow, well, uh, I think that is true, maybe." But the truth is, it bothers me because there's a lot of amazing artists that don't get any recognition. And they, maybe they don't care or they're not put on a status. With their, let's say they, they want to get uh, sponsored by some major uh, drum company. Now, you go to one of these, and I know this for a fact because, uh, you know, how many, the, the drum company and the cymbal company... And the pedals that are being made by companies, uh, you know, they all have separate types of ways they can, you know, enhance their own, you know, you of being an endorser, you know, for the company. You know, you're an endorsee. They're the endorsers are, of course, the, bet, the company, um, which would help the musician as an artist, you know, to get more established within this realm of, such a competitive, over, oversaturated with so-called popularity. Because that's, you know, they base it on that. It's like here on YouTube. If you have a zillion viewers, they put you on a high pedestal here, you know. And what about all the cats and, and catresses, you know, women and men that are artists that actually are beyond with their abilities. So, my opinion of it all is it's, it's, it's not good. It's good for the, you know, like the, the artist that is real popular, that, you know, he, he or she is definitely going to go beyond with that. 
Who knows? Most of them, when they get popular, they start doing drugs and drinking and doing all kinds of partying. And the next thing, they're getting smashed up in some car accident in Hollywood or wherever the hell they might be. And that's not good. <laughs> but that's the way of this world. We as artists are stereotyped a lot because I personally wear black leather all the time and lots of jewelry, multicolored hair. And people automatically think that I am some sort of drug user or I drink, I'm a party kind of, you know, which I am a party person, but it not mean you need to get high to do it. I don't do anything except drink water and eat amazing food and work out like crazy seven days a week just to play my my drums and all my percussion instruments. But put that aside, though, I, I'm curious. I would love to know what you people think about all this. You know, I'm always... Because in all my uh, travels around this great planet, you know, you know, which is interesting in itself because a lot of people aren't even aware how fast we're hurling through space, which is 2.7 million miles an hour. It's phenomenal, all this movement within the cosmic cosmos, you know. And that all has great effect upon you as an artist, you know, all this movement of vibrations and resonance and frequencies. But again, um, you know, the, the human mind is, is basically, at least for me, is infinite. You know, you, you have over, you, one, one person, you know, me and you or eight billion people, you know, everyone has these synapses, which in a neurological transmitting neurons, we actually in one second send out one quintillion, that's one quintillion amount of synapses in just one second. Imagine that after, you know, as time goes within the relationship of time, within the movement of everything that you're actually absorbing from your perceptions of everything from the energy that's coming in. And that's how you're going to exert it out back into the popularity. Let's get fun and have fun with this, uh, you know. Well, but it's interesting to say the least, that people are generally, well, that guy's so popular and he's so fantastic. And I just go, yeah, right. Uh, just because he has, or she, he and she, he or she is out there making mass amounts of money. Um, and then really not even that talented, actually, as a soul. And, you know, that's another topic with being popular and not being popular. Because so, some of these well-known popular drummers, I mean, the ones from from the past, those cats earned it, you know? You know, from, you name it, all the old school heart of hard knocks itself getting out and gigging. Imagine gigging where it's so damn freezing and you, and cars are breaking down, you know, to get from one town to the next. That's when nowadays... You know, traveling musicians, um, a few and far, unless you're some big time act, because the, they're not paying us. They're not putting up the, the tab to help, you know, pay for your wife, you know, to go with you, travel. You got to fork that out of your own pocket. And if you're going over to Hong Kong or Europe, it's very expensive, I know, because I've done it numerous times. And um, it's not right, you know. Oh, because we're not popular enough to, <laughs> we're just working steps, you know, really. Uh, we're playing our, our passionate artistry to make a living, you know. But I'm, again, if you have a, a person, I don't like to use the word if. When somebody per se has a question, please address it, you know. You can leave it in the comments and please subscribe. And definitely like and um, comment here at my channel. It's Master Wizard Sticks 
the School of Hard Knocks drumming, which is um, exactly what it is. It's a very disciplined art form, you know. And I was just curious, because uh, I was doing, you know, a little search out researching some things with this popularity thing, and it's interesting how Google pops that up within their, you know, analytics. <laughs> kind of funny, really. I mean, they're based on popularity. Same thing with Instagram and Facebook and all these conglomerates out there. These huge, uh, making tons of money off of us artists, you know. Seems like that's their main thing is how much money they can make. Instead of focusing on so much of the actual artist itself. But there are some fantastic artists on YouTube, you know, and I do see some search yourself. Amazing artists, you know. But um, I have a lot to say when it comes to just the art, the ancient Antigua form of drumming itself, you know. The techniques that are involved, the amount of muscle memory that you will develop, and as long as you're disciplined, and I will really focus serious attention as I'm expressing this. Discipline is an art form within itself that is so hard for so many people and artists to really become a master in. And that is of the truth, you know, Ciro Mente and Alberta of the truth. So I hope um, within all of you coming here to this channel and expressing yourself within everything that is within your mind that is pertaining to uh, your own awareness of what this topic is generally talking about. Because it gets way deep within every video that I will presenting and expressing my own um, unique, distinct artistry, you know. You have to use your eyes and your ears and really listen. Some people, they have all these elements. They create excuses. They procrastinate. You know, procrastination, I'm just not a believer within it. For any problems, I mean, masterful solutions you can conquer anything that's in your way just go around it through it uh, you know the, the drill here maybe you're familiar with it when you have to do something you know now drumming though I just can't imagine being all screwed up intoxicated and warped mind you know, you're just not focused to play that instrument at its fullest capacity within your own unique artistry. And it's very distinctive as when everything is so focused in you. The clarity and the awareness level, it's like you're, you know, it's like cosmic stars, supernovas, tidal waves, hurricanes. You know, avalanches, big storms that are amazingly good energy. And, you know, so many people think that a hurricane, it's, it's so destructive. Well, it is and it's not. Because in planet Earth's time, as it rotates around and hurling through space at 2.7 million miles an hour, all this is part of the natural growth as you are now aware of, you know. music itself. Every style of music is fantastic. For me, anyways, because when you have to, when you want to, and when you have to be somewhere on a stage, now that stage and all those lights and all the amazing people that come and 
cheer you on and dance and have a amazing fun time. You know, most of the time there's great energy being exerted. If you ever get a, had a chance to see the Beatles, the Who, the Stones, you know, Jimi Hendrix, some of the greatest acts that you, in your own awareness at that time, really enjoyed watching. There's so many great bands. Elvis Presley was phenomenal until he was on stage a couple of times and, uh, you know, because of his conditions of alcoholism and many other things. Uh, next thing, um, yeah, it was, it was a bummer. But I was there and I saw it, but, you know, I cheered him on and gave him great energy. But, uh, yeah, it was kind of sad to see such a fantastic artist wasted so that he couldn't even perform, you know. And I've seen a lot of people like that in my life, and uh, it's, it's too bad. So, but they're popular now. Elvis was an amazing artist, and he deserved all the popularity. And same Frank Sinatra, Buddy Rich, and Krupa, Max Roach, Philly Joe Jones, Bob Durnham, Oscar Peterson, Dave Tuff, uh, Dave Brubeck, uh, Bill Evans, you know, Keith Emerson. You know, Rick Waitman, you know, just to name a few of these phenomenal musicians. I don't know if you ever had a chance to listen to the old King Crimson album, the first one that came out in 60, around 68 and 69, it made it debut on the market. For the Kinson, Kin, Kinson, uh, Kingson Cream, uh, Crimson, you know, these guys were, Really amazing musicians live. But again, we're um, just talking some nostalgic moments here. Because um, there's a lot of fantastic newcomers uh, that are approaching the platform of being popular, you know, and not being popular. But it's, um, as far as the individual drummers, I mean, there's so many drummers that people say to me that are just so fantastic and I I personally think they um, aren't even at all amazing not to me they're not you know uh, I can't even uh, I can't even listen to them I don't want to listen to them because I, I just don't have the, my ears and my awareness is, is far greater than what they're presenting you know that's at least for me so again I hope that we can share a whole lot more as this channel grows because I'm not going to go anywhere except get more extreme within all my presentations as I express upon yourself the audience that is taking time to actually listen, you know. And the antithesis of this is just to be super aware of everything in a positive flowing way, you know. Again, thank you for being here. And um, there always will be links and things uh, that will take you in a greater journey into gaining more and more knowledge within your art, artistic artistry of drumming. There's a lot of a lot of videos out there that um, you know there are, you can obtain great knowledge, but you have to practice. Uh, you, you have to put the hours there, the time, because to gain the amazing wisdom, first you have to gain an incredible, phenomenal amount of experience and become. Like the old wise owl lived in the old, the more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. So why not listen to that great ancient wise owl bird? Again, please subscribe, comment, and like the video, and we shall speak in the future. Have a fantastic holiday. You know, during this time, you need to drive, be focused, drive safe, and for all you and, and your loved ones, God be with you. Thank you very much, Brian.